Breakthroughs in blood cancer research are now saving lives and being tested in clin clinical trials for other cancers and diseases. Valerie Fiordolino Maslow, a multiple sclerosis patient benefiting from a leukemia therapy, and Dr. Louis DiGennaro are here to discuss. Nice to have you both. Hi. Glad to be here. Thanks. So how has uh, blood cancer research, uh, doctor, gone beyond blood cancer to actually provide game-changing treatment to other diseases? We've had great progress in the blood cancers. My organization, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, is, is laser focused on finding treatments for patients with these diseases, leukemia, lymphoma, multiple myeloma. But what we've seen over the years is that those treatments are now paying benefit for patients with other forms of cancer and even for patients with uh, non-cancer diseases like, uh, like Valerie with uh, multiple sclerosis. So I'll give you one recent example. Last year, the FDA approved a new breakthrough therapy called immunotherapy, CAR-T immunotherapy. They approved it for leukemia and lymphoma patients, but today it's being tested in breast cancer, colon cancer, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer. It's a long list. That's a, a perfect example of research in one area, in one disease, paying benefit for patients with other forms of cancer as well. And what is it about these blood cancer treatments that have this unique ability to cross boundaries mm -hmm. and, and help these other diseases? Well, so so let's, let's talk about this in, in kind of two buckets. If we talk about cancer first, what we've come to discover is that when you break the cancer cells open and study them, whether they're breast cancer or colon cancer or blood cancer, the bad acting genes, the pathways that drive the growth of the cancer, are shared across, across different cancers. So perhaps it doesn't come as a surprise that a drug developed for one cancer might um, inhibit the growth of another, another cancer. Mm -hmm. And Valerie, talk to us a little bit about your experience and in your multiple sclerosis treatment, how this has affected that. Sure. So. Uh, when I was diagnosed uh, with relapsing remitting MS at uh, age 27, I, I had kind of limited options in terms of treatment. Um, and in the last several years, we've had some incredible advancements. And uh, one of the most, the newest FDA approved therapies for my type of MS was initially a drug developed for leukemia. It was a blood cancer drug. Um, ironically enough, um, that same drug was given to my father when he was going through treatment for his chronic lymphocytic leukemia over a decade ago. And what they found was that the, um, the drug didn't work spectacularly with his type of leukemia. However, it worked really well for the MS patients. And um, two years ago, I had the opportunity to get this treatment. I had the follow-up treatment last year, and I'm happy to say that it's really put my disease into a remission state, and I may not need medication for the rest of my life. Congratulations. That's probably a great relief to you and to your family and friends, of course. Thanks so much for sharing that Definitely. story. And if, if people want to learn sure. more about this, get more resources, where can they go? I think the best place to go is the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society website. That's lls.org. Very good. Thanks to both of you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Stay where you are. We'll be right back.